Hello, welcome back, you retry players. We're back in control. And in this part, we're going to not walk forward because the game is giving us numerous clues that we probably should not walk forward. And we're gonna pull the light switch cord because it's the only thing we seem to be able to do over here. What does this do? Mm, uh, okay, so. Oh. So, Welcome. Uh, so it's a, it's a, it, this is another AWE actually. Not, uh, this is technically an object of power, but, uh, place of power. Yeah, place of power. Nobody's really sure where the Ocean View Motel is. You can get inside. You can check in. You can check out anytime you like. That's not the track that they're playing, though. No, nah, they're not playing Hotel California. Uh, I like doing Hotel California for karaoke. It's such a long goddamn track, though. Welcome to the Ocean View Motel. Such a such sunny a place. place. Such a hallway place. Such an open window. There's plenty of recommend that here. you Ocean View Side Hotel. <laughs> You could throw the fire extinguisher at the wall and alert the guards. Room 237? There is no room 237 over here. I did not watch that movie. I have uh, heard it's actually a really it's actually a really interesting movie uh, uh, that describes the uh this descent into hell madness, but that it uh is well, it's based on Stephen King's own writer's block. He made no illusion. He made clear no illusions about this. Is that this is, you know, only only an author, of course, because authors write books, but only an author could conceive of a story that is, of course, about an author. No, that is not true, though. Now remember, you do have the option to just walk out if you're fed up with this crap. The game does give you a way out. But, um, but that's the reset button. Huh. Uh, I think you. Oh no, no, no! The the law of three. You have to pull the light switch cord three times in order to get out. Okay. But you can't go forward by turning back. You have to turn back again or something. So there are a couple of these rooms that actually have light bleeding into them. That's not sunlight. Okay, and there are only a few interactable objects. We are narrowing down our list of choices. Mm. Pass Cloud, that's the original light switch cord. You use the light switch cord in order to get in here. This door is locked. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so if that door is locked, we have to find the key for it. Okay, there's nothing in that room. Have you looked at the left side of this room yet? Apparently, no, apparently a little bit, but... Nothing there. Okay. So right, go so... behind the desk and look for a key. Okay, so there are only three objects here. All right, so our, at case in point, we just backed out from the hotline chamber. There's the phone ringing. We must answer the phone. <laughs> Try it again. The game is very oh, wait, aware. Wait, it says it's also that... a casino. Where's uh, where's a slot machine that we can play? Yeah. We are in the slot machine. Hey, something's different here. Yes, Pass Cloud is very slowly catching on to the nuances of the hotel. Okay, so it's not quite a reset button. It's just it's it's just that if you accidentally hit the pull switch thinking that it mattered and then observing that you have to hit it three times that you'll figure out, oh, it's it's just a back door. Okay, they isolated the number of options. I hit the bell. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! You mentioned when you first... Uh, see, yeah, there's... there's some, Wait. Uh, oh, ah, this door is open. Aha! Okay, ah! Something changed. Mm, that's gonna be the... Uh, that's gonna be the key to uh, Eggman's uh, uh, rocket base, isn't it? Hello? I'm li I'd like to check in, please. You can't check in. You have someone else's room key. 
Goddamn smokers taking a break. Can't they see that I'm a paying customer? Oh, the light switch cord no longer works. Aha. Uh -huh. Different hmm. light switch. Hey, that's that's me. Even has a ponytail. <laughs> um, we uh. A lot of three. Change the amount of dust in it. There we go. Hey, there are now platforms, specifically our crosswalk. Nice use of loading times. Jesse, if you hang up this phone, I will be very upset with you. Okay. If you tell anyone who you're talking to on the other side of this phone, we're going to prank call them. No. It will be the, uh, is your refrigerating running joke. You better go catch it. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, no, that's so is this a... going to be a long shot challenge? Ha <laughs> ha. That's a wibbly wobbly. What's it? Whoa, uh, no, no, bitter. you're not supposed to shoot it. You're supposed to talk to it. Spazzy motherfucker. Yeah, these guys. These guys are fucking creepy to look at. Uh, yeah. Get away. Use the hotline to talk to it. But where is the phone? I can't find my phone. Somebody help me find my phone, please. Okay, obstacle course time. Check. Pathways where you can get around. The goddamn whatever the fuck that is. Check. Uh. When was the last time you had a dream that you were flying, Mr. Gerdet? Uh, I have had dreams where I've had the power of flight. Whereas I was flying itself, not so much. You had the option to fly, but you said no. I would rather not. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. Ooh. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. Mm, so, uh, uh, can we go from the astral plane to the? Uh, to the uh, metaphysical plane. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. The four lords. Marshall especially my head of operations. She sees. Well, see, I thought that Trench was talking about the four lords. It's actually only incidental that Tomasi was a boss. Your pants get tighter for some reason. My toilet becomes farther. Always farther away. And then sometimes the oldest uh, house will actually I saw just... the aneurysm blood drop. I can reach Trench. Well, listen. Booker, your nose. Echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. I'm actually a lot less clear on where Jesse's nosebleeds come from than where Booker DeWitt's nosebleeds come from. And well, she is undergoing quite a bit of mental stress. She's just suppressing it uh, quite a bit. And the communicating uh, communicating uh, both through and with the astral plane is not something that normal people take very well. It's true that Jesse herself is not all that normal, given the amount of emotional suppression that she's putting herself under. But... That is because she. That is because she's been wanting to do this quest for so damn long. Huh. This pathway from the dilapidated temple leads leads to Kuro's room. Interesting. Uh, that level one clearance door. You 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 walk you walk past the door. The, the the game the game put you back here to teach you something, past Cloud, and you were not paying attention to the lesson. So now you missed out on the goodies. You. See? It's you. The hiss resonators doesn't do anything. They simply respawn when you return to the area. It pleases me. Maybe I need a little I target love that we practice. I can technically grab boxes from that far away. That is so cool. 
Yep, and after you get the launch ability, suddenly the game is highlighting objects only one at a time, and in rapid transference, the things that you could pick up. I have itchy facial hair, Mr. Cloud. I have increasingly useful facial hair. How does one lie about his age without saying a word? He grows a beard. Alright, so now we gotta talk to Emily again. Emily Pope. I'm not a dope. Oh! oh. <laughs> Emily had to uh, jump cut in. Okay. <laughs> yes, we, for we forget. Oh, you should see what happens when you leave the game on pause for a second. It fucking, like, has a goddamn explosion trying to put all the graphics back in. There's a lot of data in this game, and the game lets you know pretty clearly that it can only load so much at a time. Yes, my thoughts are very squishy. Pulsy. Akira. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. Was she in Cuba during uh, during the Havana syndrome incident? Someone who could help us. <laughs> the other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible to get to the biblioteca. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. So we take the stairs. We got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. Yeah, well, thank you, game. One aneurysm so far. I mean, I would love to you know, I like it when the game gives me a verbal pat on the back for having the shit kicked out of me by a boss that honestly should not have given me as much trouble as it did. But it did, and I hated it. I needed that relief. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. The game is really heavily hinting that she's already bonded with Dylan, but like... She has not bonded with Dylan, that's why she's here. Ah, uh, is not the nondescript one of the most vexing of perceptions? Building is like a table. You can set things on it, but then you will realize that no, that was the side of it. Your coffee will simply spill to the floor. Mm. Hey, Andre. Ati. It's all right, Mr. Grant. No, nobody remembers who the janitor is. He's just he's just the janitor. Let him do his job. Well, I should still remember his name. It's respectful. Ooh, a fake bonsai tree. Yes, it's all coming together. The bonsai tree. The hotline. The janitor. The hotline. We're starting the to steam. leak over a remnant from here. Jeez. The, the janitor. The power plant. A whole new world! Mm, ooh, an energy boost. We got ability points! Hey! We have the ability to upgrade now! Alright, so, in the next episode, we will go spend our upgrade points and then address the, the siren song. Dun-dun, da-dun, da-dun. Be safe, everybody.